I'd like to call the order of the meeting of the Village Board for March 14th, 2023. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Yes. <coughs> President D. Simone? Here. Trustee Carmona? Here. Trustee Franz? Here. Trustee Fry? Here. Trustee Penicola? Here. Trustee Perez? Here. That's six. At this time, we will have a presentation by Steve Hugh on the Carpet Town redevelopment. Steve Hugh could not make it today. He had a family issue come up. But I do have a small, uh, he did send over a rendering. Um, so real quick, just a brief uh, introduction. Steve Hugh is a businessman here in town whose main business is importing bathroom fixtures and you know vanities, fixtures from uh, overseas, and then he is he sells them at um, Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, his vision, his business model, is to stop being the middleman and be the retailer so, and sell those uh, bathroom fixtures here in town. So several years ago, he acquired Carpet Town, which Carpet Town is probably the biggest eyesore on Irving Park Road. Um, here's its current uh, condition now. Um, Steve has pretty big plans to redevelop it. This is what he's got to present. So I just want to get a few months ago, the village approved TIF funds for this. So this is the update. Um, the name is not, he says the name is not finalized yet, but um, that's just uh, what he's looking at. I think it kind of brings that character of retail back to every park road while eliminating that eyesore. So just a quick update on that. Are there any questions? No. Yeah, I think it looks good. good. Yeah. Let's hold them to it. We will, uh, there's a few things we even want to clean this up. We want to close some of those uh, curb cuts off more and get some more greenery there. But yeah. generally speaking, I think the facade is what we're looking for. Perfect. All right. Thank you. I'll send that feedback. At this time, we'll move the public comment. Does anyone wish to address the board? If so, please approach the podium and state your name. Yes, Mr. Christopher Mann. Good evening. I am Chris Mann. I reside at 237 South Church Road. And I usually don't come here and speak on anything, but with all the events going on, all the meetings I've witnessed, I have to say I want better for our village. It's been very childish. Many accusations made. I have children here. My children should not have to grow up in a village where everybody's catfighting. Uh, I also have to say this, that I've lived in many places. I've been here for five years now back home. I was in Texas for 20. Bensonville is one of the safest places I have ever lived. And I've lived many places. Uh, I feel my children are safe here. And I remember hearing a meeting where somebody was saying that this is a very unsafe place. I think the chief and everybody's doing a fantastic job in Bensonville. I feel the safest here than I do anywhere else, especially being from Chicago. I uh, want to address the board, say all of you have been doing a phenomenal job. And we are here to back you up. And I hope that we move forward in a positive manner. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? No, that's it. That concludes public comment. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from the February 28th, 2023 Village Board meeting? You have yeah. a motion. Is there a second? You second. A second. Any modifications to the minutes? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? <coughs> yes. That's fine. Motion carries and the minutes are approved. The next item of business is to approve the warrant in the amount of one million. $904,210.95. Is there a motion to approve this warrant? You have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussions on the warrant? Call the roll, please. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. That's quorum. That's five. That's five? Yep. Sure. Yep. Motion carries and the warrant is approved. There are no items on the consent agenda. Under number one, under community and economic development, ordinance granting approval of a preliminary and final plat of subdivision to resubdivide 440 and 444 Church Road. Is there a motion to approve this ordinance? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. Being a motion and a second, the courtesy of your hand on this one? Yeah, so this is the case that I asked you to remand back to CDC at the last meeting. Uh, so CDC reheard the case uh, last week. 
Um, you know, the issue was on the original exhibit we produced, we had the wrong setback on the church roadside. Uh, so we corrected that and then we put a condition in there that that setback would be 20 feet. Um, the petitioner agreed. Uh, so that obviously the, the, the plan here is to split this, that existing home on the west side stays, a new home will be built on the new corner lot. Uh, he is actually was in uh, Village Hall today working on some of his initial permits. So he's excited to get this moving forward. We wanted to get this in front of the board uh, as soon as possible so we can get this project going. Any questions from the board? What's the time frame on building the, the house on the corner? This year you think they'll start construction? The petitioner's here if you want to ask. Uh, Oh, hi. Um, we're hoping to have shovels in the ground in the next month or two. Oh, be great. Thank you. Any questions, other questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries and ordinance is passed. <clears throat> two is a resolution approving the adoption of the 2023 Village of Bensonville zoning map. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Being a motion and a second, do we have discussion? So Illinois Municipal Code uh, requires us to uh, approve the zoning map every year by April 1st. Uh, so uh, we are getting this one in front of you. No substantial changes. There were no rezonings or annexations this last year. There were some consolidations of parcels, so there's some slight kind of upkeep of the map. but. It's, it's substantially the uh, very same you know, zoning map as last year. So we are recommending the approval of the resolution of the new map, 2022 map. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries, the resolution is approved. Under finance is a resolution authorizing an agreement with GW and Associates PC for audit services for the fiscal years 2022 through 2024. Is there a motion to approve the resolution? You have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Being a motion and a second, do we have discussion? Julie, do you want to get some background on this one? Um, yes. We've had GW and Associates for the last five years as our auditors. As a matter of good practice, we put out an RFP in December. Um, it, we publicized it in the paper, we put it on the website, and we strategically sent six to seven letters out to some of the more prominent audit firms to try to solicit bids. Unfortunately, only two bids came back. Um, one of the bids was someone we had never used before, and their proposal over the course of the three years would cost us $38,000 more than what we were previously paying. Um, the second bid that came in was from our old auditors, GW and Associates. However, they proposed that they would use a separate manager, which is recognized as GFOA as, as good as using another firm. And they only increased their fees by a relative 3% per year, which was very reasonable. So we're recommending approval of the GW and Associates proposal for our audits for the next three years. We'll say if you know any young people in your life, and they are financially inclined, tell them to be an auditor. They're in high demand right now, so. Any questions from the board? Call the roll, please. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries, resolution is approved. Under Public Works is a resolution authorizing the execution of a purchase order to Dom Mechanical Industries Incorporated for the purchase and replacement of a 12-inch digester sludge valve in the not to exceed amount of $14,000. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. We have a second. Second. Being a motion and a second. Vince, what do we got? Yeah, the new 12-inch digester sludge valve replaces the valve installed as part of the upgrade of the wastewater upgrade project. The valve failed because it's submerged in sludge 24-7. The new valve will be configured to be installed horizontally instead of vertically so that the sludge is not sitting on the mechanical components in extending the life of the valve. Dami Mechanical Industries Incorporated will also install on an expedited schedule at at a cost not to exceed $14,000. Staff recommends approval. <clears throat> Question on the sludge valve. Call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. And Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries. Resolution is approved. Two is a resolution authorizing authorizing a purchase order 
to Canapide Equipment Company for the purchase of two upfits for public works trucks in the not to exceed amount of $28,350. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? You have a motion? I have a second. 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 Being a motion is second, Vince? Yes, as uh, Joe mentioned at the last meeting, we purchased two new F-350 pickup trucks. This request is to upfit the new trucks with utility bodies, lighting, running boards, and uh, spray on liners. We requested proposals from four upfitters with Napite Equipment Company submitting the lowest proposal of $14,175, each for a total purchase order request of $28,350. Staff recommends approval. That includes everything, lights, beds, everything? Yes. Okay. We're actually going, looking at keeping the uh, the factory bed, and then when it's time to sell these, we'll put it back on and hopefully up increase the resale value, mm -hmm. or we'll just surplus those out and sell those for additional revenue. Yes. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries and resolution is approved. Three is a resolution authorizing the execution of a purchase order to Henderson Products Incorporated for the purchase and installation of two stainless steel bodies for Village Dump Trucks 253 and 259 in the not to exceed amount of $85,000. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. I have a second. A second. There being a motion, a second, Vince? Yeah, the Village has a fleet with five heavy duty trucks that serve as our primary plow trucks. Due to uh, salt corrosion, the steel bodies wear and tear are evident and need replacement. Trucks 253 and 259 are 2010 international dump trucks with low mileage. 253 has 42,800 miles and 259 has 32,600 miles. With this truck still having plenty of useful life as we've done in the past, staff request to keep the chassis and replace the steel bodies with stainless steel bodies to prolong the life of the truck. Um, staff received four proposals to replace the steel bodies with stainless steel bodies. Within the quote, we requested one setup to include an asphalt chute, uh, asphalt tarp, and a spill pan. Henderson Products Incorporated provided the lowest total at $79,370. Staff is requesting a purchase order in the amount of $85,000 to cover any ancillary costs that may arise during the retrofit. So when they pull this bed off, there might be some underbody work that needs to be done to the chassis, sandblast painting, so that's what the extra funding is for. Staff recommends approval, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, I apologize. <laughs> Staff recommends approval. Any questions from the board? Mm -hmm. Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries the resolution is approved. Four is a resolution authorizing the award of a construction contract for the 2023 MFT residential street improvement project to Builders Paving LLC in the not to exceed amount of $1,260,999. <coughs> is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. Being a motion and approve, Vince, we're fixing some streets? Yes, we are. This will be our first rural rate construction project of the year our 2023 residential street roadway construction project. The scope of work will consist of pavement removal and replacement, full depth pavement patching, spot curb and gutter improvements, spot driveway apron replacements, spot sidewalk replacements, including ADA ramps at intersections, <laughs> storm sewer repairs, turf restoration and pavement markings. Streets that are included in this project are Washington Street from Church Road to York Road, John Street, from George Street to the cul-de-sac, Pamela Drive from Dolores Drive to Diana Court, Jacqueline Drive from Dolores Drive to Diana Court, Diana Court from Jacqueline Drive to Brentwood Drive, and Gloria Jean Drive from Diana Court to the cul-de-sac. The bids were opened on March 7th, and seven contractors submitted bids with Builders Paving Inc. LLC, submitting the lowest bid of $1,260,999. We are familiar with Builders Inc. Paving. They did our street project last year. The project is projected to start in April and be completed by July 4th. Staff recommends approval for this project. Any questions from the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries. The resolution is approved. Five is a resolution authorizing the execution of a construction engineering services agreement for the 2023 MFT Residential Street Improvement Project to Edwin <coughs> Hancock Engineering Company in the not to exceed amount of $110,090. Is there a motion to approve? 
have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. Being a motion and a second, we have discussion? Yes, this is uh, for construction engineering services for the 2023 MFT residential streets improvement project. Staff requested a proposal from Edwin Hancock Engineering Company for a scope of work to include on-site inspections, review of project layout, construction documentation, material testing and preparation of record drawings. Edwin Hancock's negotiated amount is $110,090. This equates to 8.7% of the construction cost and falls within the village's 7 to 10% construction range. Staff recommends approval for this. Questions from the board? Call the roll, please. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries, resolution is approved. Six is a resolution authorizing the execution of a change order, number one, final, with Exylum Dewatering Solutions Incorporated for bypass pumping associated with the York Road LS10 lift station rehabilitation project for an increase of $42,433. 10 cents for a final revised contract cost of $192,433, 10 cents. Is there a motion to approve? We have, have a motion. motion. A second. Second. Being a motion, a second, Vince? Yes. As part of the York lift station project, bypass pumping was required to perform the necessary work on the wet well, electrical system, and valve vault installation. The village entered into a contract with Xylem Dewatering Solutions on June 21st, 2022 for bypass pumping services in the amount of $150,000. Due to some co complications with material delays, weather, and startup issues, the bypass pumping needed to be extended past the 10-week contract length. An additional month of pumping was required at the cost of $44,153.98. Due to a pump failure, an additional $3,577.18 was for a repair slash service call that was necessary. The total additional cost not anticipated on this project was $47,731.16. Our original approval included a small contingency for unforeseen circumstances. However, it was not enough to cover these costs. The modified contract amount is now $192,433.10, necessitating a change order in the amount of $42,433.10. Staff recommends approval. Questions from the board? Call the roll. <coughs> Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries resolution <coughs> is approved. Seven is a resolution authorizing the execution of an intergovernmental agreement between the village of Bensonville and Anderson Township Highway Department for the 2023 resurfacing program. Is there a motion to approve? You have a motion. I have a second. Second. Being a motion and a second, Vince? Yes, this agenda item refers back to the 2023 residential street project from earlier. A portion of the project on the west side of Washington Street falls within the jurisdiction of Addison Township. As we do in these situations, we develop an IGA with the Township Highway Department that identifies the anticipated cost of their portion of the program within their jur jurisdiction and lays out a reimbursement plan for the village. The Township's estimated portion of the bid was $22,747.50. This equates to roughly around 1.89% of the project. Staff recommends approval of the IGA. Questions from the board? Call the roll, please. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's five. Motion carries. Resolution is approved. Eight is a resolution authorizing the execution of a change order number one with Aqua Contractors Corporation for an increase of $189,000. $594.92, and a time extension of 150 days for the Addison Creek Storm Sewer Improvement Phase 1 project for a revised contract cost of $2,409,594.92. Is there a motion? You have a motion. Do I have a second? You have a second. Being a motion and a second, Vince, would you like to explain this one? Yes. You? Last year, the village completed Phase 1 of the Addison Storm Sewer Project. The village awarded a contract to Aqua Contracting Corporation via resolution R-57-2022 in the amount of $2.2 million. During the project, we came across some un unanticipated field conditions that required field work to be performed. Change order number one includes a semi-final balance of line items and nine additional items. Three items were sanitary and storm utility hole adjustments and sewer pipe segment repairs. 
The other six items were unit price items directly related to water and sanitary service replacements. A line item called for partial water service replacement due to the EPA led EPA led service line replacement mandate that recently came out. The contract was no longer in compliance with partial line replacements that have been identified in that project and had to mitigate the lead in its entirety. The total amount of the requested change order is $189,594.92 for a revised contract of $2,409,594.92. Approximately $116,000 is directly related to the water and sewer conditions mandated by the EPA. This change also includes a 150-day extension due to unanticipated public utility conflicts that delayed the start of the project. Staff expects a minor financial change order once our spring restorations are identified. Staff recommends approval. Questions from the board? I just want to point out that as we enter construction season, um, the town's going to have a lot of different construction projects, and people are, residents are always encouraged to go to the Bensonville Community Portal on our website. It's our GIS map. You can click where you saw that construction project, and we'll give you a little brief summary of what that construction project is. Any questions from the board? Call the roll. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fry? Yes. Trustee Penicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Yes. That's fine. Motion carries, and the resolution is approved. We do not have a report on the recreation. On the presidential remarks, I want to discuss uh, what has taken place at our board meetings over the last few months. It is election season, so the three candidates running against our trustees, Carmona, Panicola, and Fry, are stepping up to the podium, alleging wrongdoings for their own political gain. Their angry rants and personal attacks while waving their arms, pointing their fingers, banging on the podium, and calling people names are nothing but bullying tactics. This is unacceptable behavior orchestrated by the president of the school board. It may be the way he conducts meetings at the school district, but it is not the way our community is going to move forward. Enough is enough. Now let's talk about the Senior Center under construction at Village Hall. At the last meeting, accusations were thrown out that the Senior Center was never discussed at a public meeting and claims were made that the state laws were violated. They are wrong again. The Senior Center was discussed over the years in numerous meetings with the public in attendance. In fact, in this very room, on October 16th, 2018, November 18th, 2018, November 17th, 2020, October 21st, 2021, October 27th, 2021, November 3rd, 2021, April 19th, 2022, April 27th, 2022, June 21st, 2022, July 19th, 2022, December 13th, 2022, and January 17th, 2023. In addition, 1,565 senior households received invitations to participate in community workshops to discuss senior issues and the senior center. These candidates are also telling residents that senior center is unsafe. The senior center is being built after years of planning. It will be a modern facility illuminated with natural light with state-of-the-art sprinkler system, multiple entrances and exits, and yes, an elevator. The senior center meets or exceeds all local state, county and federal building safety and fire standards, every detail down to the carpet pattern and the selection of the chairs were made with the safety and comfort of our seniors who deserve a top rate facility paid for with state granted funds. I do not know why they're making all their allegations. Maybe it's because they only took an interest after being encouraged to run for office by those in support of the industrial development of the White Pines Golf Course, which is owned and managed by the Park District. Maybe it's because they're upset that the village demanded that the Park District Board ask the residents to decide if the golf course should be redeveloped or not. I know they did not like that idea whatsoever. This board set out to accomplish clear, concrete goals. We paid down debt and got the village's credit rating raised. We cut administrative staffing levels to the lowest they have ever been in years and put more police officers on the street. We cut unnecessary spending to increase funding for infrastructure projects. And yes, we are building a center for our seniors to gather, socialize, obtain services, and enjoy life in Bensonville, just like we promised. Every trustee on this board works hard. We are part of a team, and we work very well together. We represent different cross-sections and areas of our community. And yes, Rosa Carmona, Nicholas Panicola, and Marie Fry are part of this board 
and have earned the public's trust. That will conclude public comment. Village manager's report? I have nothing. Attorney's report? I have nothing. Is there any unfinished me. business to come before the board today? There's none. Any new business? There's none. Any need for executive session? There is none. Motion to adjourn? You have a motion. Second. You have a second. Call the roll, please. Trustee Carmona? Yes. Trustee Franz? Yes. Trustee Fred? Yes. Trustee Panicola? Yes. Trustee Perez? Motion carries. Yes. We are adjourned. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>